Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Late your second year when Max Christie had a great summer league and everyone was looking forward to see how he would continue that development into the regular season. However, he hasn't had that many minutes, mainly due to the emergence of Cam Reddish, who's now in the starting lineup, and then also just some matchup balance and roster balance that has limited Max's minutes. However, in the last week or so, due to a multitude of injuries to the Lakers' wings, Max has had more of a role. We particularly saw his potential impact versus the Cavs on both ends of the floor, but I really want to touch on his defensive potential and also things that he can improve on by looking at both the Cavs game and then looking at the Sixers game as well. In the Cavs game, we really saw what he can be from a defensive standpoint, both on and off the ball. Torian Prince was first tasked with guarding Donovan Mitchell. But Mitchell was able to get by him far too easily. So down the stretch of the game, it was Max Christie's assignment and during switches, Austin Reeves, who actually did a quite, quite a job as well. But really, Max was tasked with guarding Donovan Mitchell and multiple times in one-on-one -on -one situations. And then also, Max off the ball was guarding Donovan. Also, during switches, he had some very, very good plays as well, where he did a great job in denial and not giving up any passing windows. Going back to Max's on-ball defense versus Donovan Mitchell, Donovan's strengths are, of course, his jump shooting, so you have to really play up into him. And then he uses his change of direction and quickness ability to blow by defenders. However, Max did a tremendous job in limiting Donovan in terms of quality of looks. He certainly got some good looks, but you're never gonna you know, deny that from Donovan. All you have to do is be able to force him into tougher looks. And Max did just that, especially down the stretch of the game where he forced Donovan into a very tough contested layup. And then into two mid-range shots, which he missed. In each of these scenarios, it was Donovan trying to break down Max off the dribble using multiple change of directions. And Max used some very good defensive techniques to be able to keep up with Donovan. Let's take a look at one example in detail to really sum up Max's defensive ability. So the first thing I really want you to focus on here is Max's wide base of support and how low he is and then also how he's playing up on the balls of his feet his forefoot all three of these allow him to be able to change direction really quickly further notice how quickly max is able to turn his hips or flip his hips and he does it multiple times and then also when he's going to move laterally he's really generating a lot of force and pushing in that lateral direction to be able to cover ground. Further, Max does a great job using his arms not only to bother Donovan's dribble and then use his wingspan as well to bother Donovan and his windows, but also coordinating that to improve his chain of direction as well. And then lastly, perhaps my favorite part, is when Donovan gets on his final drive down, Max uses a crossover step to be able to catch up to him. A lot of times you'll see people say, oh, I never wanna cross your legs on defense. That's just not true. A crossover step is a great way to be able to move explosively laterally. And then in this case, you know, Max is able to then stop and contest the shot. And Donovan gets a decent look, but this is much 
better outcome than say Donovan getting into the teeth of the paint. Max did a great job here on Donovan Mitchell, but in the next game versus the Sixers, he faced a different beast in Tyrese Maxey, who plays in a distinctly different style. Maxey is far less of a chain of direction player. He's more of a player who uses his foot speed quickness and is able to shoot off the dribble and then use those advantages to be able to get into the paint. And Christie really struggled versus Maxi to make up for that foot speed differential. And then also understanding you know, how much Maxi likes to shoot off the dribble and his how strong he's become at that. And so Max was unable to use his wingspan to be able to limit some of those opportunities. And that's gonna really be the next step for Max is, is guarding some of those smaller, faster players and understanding how to read and anticipate that better to mitigate some of those direct line speed advantages, especially with guys like Maxi, who know their strengths so, so well. Unlike a player like Mitchell, who is relatively quick, but he tends to be a little bit more spontaneous in terms of his attack. And Christie, to his, to his credit, was able to, to guard that quite effectively. But a player like Maxi, who has these incredible high level strengths, you have to be able to take those away much, much better in order to then get him into more uncomfortable situations. And that was not the case versus the Sixers. You just say none of the Sixers team was uncomfortable at all, considering how much they dog walked the Lakers and how easy that game was. All in all, then Christie has shown lots of positive attributes all around. And we're continuing to see some of these little you know, tidbits of his game and how he's developing throughout the season. And I think we're continuing to see that impact throughout the season as well. You know, as coach Darvin Ham has said, Christie is gonna be on this Lakers team for a long time and he's gonna contribute for a long time as well. He has a really exciting future ahead of him.